love is a strong feeling in relationships. People should not get into relationships thinking that they can change somebody else. Now, abuse isn't just about the physical. It's first it's mental. The biggest amount of people who get abused are women. With that being said though, we understand that you know not all men are bad and all women are good. Usually people who are abusing are people who have been abused. About one in four relationships have a partner who is abusive. When I was in high school, I had a s couple of my friends who were in really abusive relationships, boyfriend, girlfriend relationships, and one day, she, you know, she came to school with a lot of bruises, okay, and, you know, she would basically hide it. A lot of times, you know, uh, kids will cover up the bruises and uh, the emotional scars you can, you know, never tell. Um, the, we will never find out. People think that it doesn't happen in their community, that it only happens to other people, like people over there. I have a daughter who's 16 years old, and she had a friend who was in an abusive relationship. Matter of fact, the parents had to get in a court order of protection to prevent their daughter from, uh, from being seen by the boyfriend. And unfortunately, the relationship uh, has continued. It was, it was a very strange time in her life. Her family had moved away and she didn't have a whole lot of to, to hold on to, basically. And she was in this relationship and she was living with him and she really felt like she didn't have anything else. Like he was her whole world. So she just kind of put up with it. The main goal in dating violence and domestic violence is for one partner to gain all the power in the relationship to control their partner. And she said that at that time, the mental abuse, you know, of him kind of overpowering her and domineering her was more hurtful than the physical abuse. A lot of kids keep it inside, so the first thing they should do is tell someone they trust. We find that a lot of times people are uncomfortable talking about it. Well, you guys have a lot more people to help you than we had when we were younger. But I think within the past 30 years, as a society, we've become more comfortable to talk about it because before the 1970s, there were no hotlines, there were no shelters, there was no one really talking about the issue of domestic violence. And she said to me that at the time, again, she didn't have a lot of family around her, and what else could, all she said at first was, what else could I do? Like, she, ha she felt completely powerless and she didn't, she just didn't have anywhere to go with it. And as a society, we've been socialized and taught to accept certain roles as men and as women, how we're supposed to act. Like, if you ever heard the phrase, act like a man. She'll still tell me, like she did the other day, she told me to, that it, she still accepts that it's physical abuse is just okay. And for women, we get messages like, act like a lady. And I really wish that at that time I had spoken up. And a lot of the, her teachers were really concerned, but you know, again, when you're young and you're in that relationship, you just kind of hide it a lot. Since this violence is learned, it's learned behavior, we know that it can be unlearned. She seems to often, in her personality, she'll not want to be a problem or a hassle. Any any time, you know, if she needs something, she won't ask for it. The worst thing is to keep it inside because no one will ever know. And then, you know, we can't help the student who's being abused. Leaving might not always be the safest option because over the two-thirds of the women that are killed each year as a result of domestic violence, either by a current or ex-partner, they're killed either after they have left or while they're in the process of leaving. So leaving might not always be the safest option. Not to say that women shouldn't leave, but that if they do plan to leave and they need to have a safety plan. It's really important that, you know, if you ever are in that type of relationship, that you gotta know that people around you care. So you gotta, report, if something's happening to you, as hard as it is, you have to report it. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline, 1-800-799-SAFE.